the origin of the Hebrews, the chosen people of Elohim, and the ethnology of the Hebrews people. Genesis 9:27, and e. the sovereign one shall enlarge e Yaphit and e. shall dwell in the tents of Shem and in the land of Canaan, and Shem shall be e's servants. And also to the sons of Shem were children born. And Shem became the father of all the children of Ebony. And Shem was the brother of Japheth who was the elder, son of Noah, and even also to Japheth were children born who were of light or dark complexion, and they were a plethora of colors, like of a brownish or yellowish or almond-like in color when they were born of Eber and of Japheth, and whose children were also of a combination of a sable or ebony and were of a creamy or brownish or of a light color complexion when they were born to both Japheth and Eber. Genesis 10 22, And the sons of Shem were Elam, and Asher, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram. Genesis 10 23, And the sons of Aram were Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash. Genesis 10 24, And Arphaxad sire Salah and Salah fathered Eber. Genesis 10:25 And to Eber were born two sons, the name of one was Peleg. For in those days the earth was divided. And his brother's name was Joktan. Genesis 10:26 And Joktan begot Almodad, and Chalef, and Hazarmaveth, and Jera, Genesis 10:27 And Hadoram, and Uzal, and Dikla, Genesis 10:28 And Obal, and Abimael, and Sheba, Genesis 10:29, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jabab, and all these were the sons of Joktan. Genesis 10:30, and their dwelling places was from Mesha, as you traveled to Safar, in the north, to a mount in the east. Genesis 10:31, and these are the sons of Shem, after all of their sons and their different languages, and with their many nation in their lands after the flood which had destroyed all the sons and the men of Gog God Godreel, whom were the giant men, whom came from old Gog God Godreel who was also called the serpent of old and Satan, and whom he Elohim he. the sovereign of heaven destroyed when he caused the flood to remove them, when he had all the giant men of Gog God whom were very wicked to be destroyed in the flood of Noah, and whom had corrupted the creation of Elohim in the beginning of his creation. But the sons of Shem they became the chosen people of Elohim. And this was when Arphaxad fathered Salah. And Salah fathered Eber. And Eber in turn fathered two sons Peleg and Eyatan. And Shem is the father of all the people of Eben or neutral in color, whether dark skinned people, or of a light complexion or of a mingled color, which were either the light and dark skinned races of people, and whom were the descendants of Shem and Japheth, and whom were known to be called the Hebrews because of their various complexion of their skin. And the patriarch Abba, Ebenehem was also a descendant of Shem. And Jacob's ancestry was of, Shem. And whose name was changed to Eyakobi. Whom was better known as Jacob. Whom fathered twelve sons, that became the twelve tribes, and when Elohim E Elohim E. Changed the name Eyakobi to E Israel. And this was when the descendants of Jacob, they became to be called E Israel. And the E Israelites. And also the Hebrews. However, Shem and Japheth and Ham are all brothers, and the Jews and Hebrews, I believe that they are relatives, even though the Hebrews and the Jews seem to be distinct, and there is division between them in the world, they are relatives, because of the brotherhood between the sons of Noah. So the descendants of Shem are the Hebrews. While the Jews are also from Gomer, and they are the descendants of Japheth whom is also the son of Noah. And whom were the ancestors of Abraham and whose forefather was Noah, who was the father of Japheth and Shem and Ham, so all the talk about race is kind of mood, however the sons of Gomer are the ones whom fathered Ashkenaz, whom were the natural son of Japheth, and they are the one from whom the Jews are believed to be the descendants. And the Jews of today are also claiming to be from the descendants of Judah or Eudah whom was a descendant of E Israel. Better known as Jacob whose name was changed to E Israel. By Elohim E Elohim E. When Jacob wrestled with E. E Elohim E. And his joints was out of joint. Which was when he was wrestling with E Elohim E. 
but the Jews they are not claiming their Hebrews ancestry because it is difficult to trace through the ancestry of Japheth, but it is easy through Eyuda. And whom was better known as Judah? When Hosea took to blame for a wife from the sons of Gomer, and when he fathered a son by her whom Eluhimi. When Eluhimi told Hosea to call his son by the name, E Israel. And whom also became E Israel also. And who was from one of those nations whom had rejected E Eluhimi. And were committing idolatry when they were serving Baal God with their whoredom and their idolatry. And that is why there are two E Israels. Of whom Eluhimi have declared and have prophesied that because of the whoredom that they would to be rejected for their idolatry, and that even though they population would be as the number of the sands on the seas for a multitude, that they would not be ease. But they would be reserved for old Gog God Godreel, whom is called Satan. For more information on the two E Israels. Please see my message the two E Israels. A link would be placed in the description box below. So, even though there are two Israels, and the Hebrews are considered to be from the natural sons of Shem, and also from Judah, and they were also given a chance to be a part of Elohim's promises, not because of their special ancestry through Shem, and not because they aren't from the natural complexion of Shem and Japheth, and not because of being born of a light or dark complexion or of a fair complexion or probably because of their dark skinned or a dark complexion or a light complexion, neither because they are the ones whom are of a colored skinned or light complexion or because of their unique race. But they were grafted in through the heritage of Hosea whom was from the tribe of Judah, and whom was a descendant of Abraham and who was a Hebrew. And whether their heritage is from Judah, which the scripture plainly shows, their ancestry is from the sons of Gomer originally. And during their generation and in time of the growth of the sons of Shem, the world was divided. And the sons of Shem they were all living for the most part in the land of Ethiopia, which was known to be the land of Canaan. And it was indeed the land of Canaan or the Canaanites which was divided up to the nations of the modern day Canaanite nations, in the land for grab swapped of the lands of Africa which was divided up to the world's largest industrialized nations at that point in time. But it was also called the lands of Canaan when it was given to Caleb by Eluhimi Eluhimi the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth, because the heads of the twelve tribes, they did not want to go in and conquer the land at the time of the conquest of Canaan, when they were made to wander around in the wilderness in Arabia. Friends, the Hebrews whom were from the nation of the twelve tribes of Israel, were disbanded from being a nation. And they all were at one time was subjugated and they went into captivity by the Syrians and the Canaanite nation of Babylon at one point. And the tribe of Eudah was then dispersed into the other nations when their nation was being disbanded. And they were prohibited from becoming a nation by Eluhimi. So today the, the Hebrew tribe of Eudah is still in the great Hebrews diaspora. And as per Eluhimi, they would be gathered in the end times to ease holy kingdom. And back then the eleven tribes, they were disallowed from the promises of Eluhimi. When they forsook Eluhimi for their idolatry, the worshipping of old God God Godreel whom is also called Satan. And that is why Eluhimi chose to pass over them. So the eleven other tribes and the tribe of Eudah were scattered. And the monarchy was removed from them. But in the end times when Eluhimi shall come, the monarchy and the seat of the government of Eluhimi, and the holy throne of Eluhimi Eluhimi, and the holy kingdom, of Elohim would be seated in the holy city of Elohim e holy Jerusalem. Hallel. E Eluya. Friends, not all of E Israel would be saved. And though, E Israel shall be as the sands of the seas, in number, they would be reserved for old God God Godreel, whom is called Satan. Thus says E Elohim e, the sovereign of all the heavens and the earth. Friends, with all that is going on in the world, today, and with the sons of Israel, and the sons of Yaphid better known as Japheth, they are at war with their own brothers. And soon they would be at war also with the Medes, the Medes who are also called Median, and whom are also the sons of Abraham, and whom is the father of many nations. 
whom were all sent away by Abraham into the north and the east countries. Away from me is exact. Whom is better known as Isaac? Whom became the son and the heirs of the promises of Elohimi? But Madai is the brother of Gomer and whom was from the natural son of Japheth. The etymology of the name Hebrew and the ethnology of the Hebrews, and the beginnings of the races of the Hebrews. Friends, the English word Hebrew is said to come from the French word, Hebrew, which is derived from the Latin language, which was derived from the Greek, and which is possibly from the language of Asher or from the Assyrian language, and which is from the cognate word, which is a meaning or a definition for the word Hebrew. Which is the word, Havaru or Ebru, which means roughly, beyond or across from or on the other side of probably the river or the desert. Which I believe could possible also mean, a mixed races or mixed complexion. And the Hebrews people were the chosen people of the promise of Elohimi. And whom inherited the entire land of Canaan. Which was the land that Abraham and his nephew Lot sojourned to and dwelled in, and it was the land that Elohimi had promised for an inheritance to Abraham and his descendants. And finally after their refusal to go in and to possess it, and as a result they were made to wander for forty years in the wilderness of Arabia. And this was when Joshua and the other ten leaders of the other tribes lied to Moze, When they refused to go in and conquer the promised land. That was given to them by Eluhimi. And they told Moze that there were giants in the land and that they weren't able to possess it. So Joshua and the heads of the ten tribes were made to wander through the wilderness until they all died out. And it was Caleb who inherited the entire land of Canaan as a possession, which was given to him by Elohimi. And Caleb in turn allowed the younger Israelites to dwell in the land of promise. The descendants of Abraham were also called Hebrews. And their ancestors were survivors of the great flood which annihilated the men of Gog God Gadriel whom was the serpent who deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden. And when he also corrupted the creation and humanity in the world at the beginning of the creation of mankind. And because of the sin of disobedience to Elohimi. The giant men who were the sons of Gog God were removed in the flood on the fourth day of the creation of Elohimi. The Hebrews though some would suggest that they have ceased to exist are still in existence today. And they are in the great Hebrew diaspora. And their language has since then have become what I believe is the English language. But unlike the Jews their language have being spoken by about 9 million people worldwide. Of which 7 million are fluent in the Yiddish and the Ladino language. Friends the Jewish language today has many borrowed words, and many of the words are from many different languages of which I myself have doubts whether it is the ancient Hebrew's language, and I often wondered if today's Hebrew is actually the holy language of heaven. Because it doesn't sound as if it is, and it doesn't appears as if it is the original language of heaven or the sacred language of the ancient Israelites people. And my belief is this, that it isn't. And I have come to the conclusion that it is actually a contrived language which the Jewish people called Yiddish and Ladino, and which is one that is made up of several other different languages which was made up or copied from the other languages in the world, which was spoken by many other nations, and which was embraced by the Jewish sects and whom have since then adapted the Hebrew written script and its Hebrew characters and its lettering to make for themselves a devious language. However my belief is that the Hebrew's language is actually called E-English, or the English language of today and which was the original E-Hebrews language, but today it is written without the added E-Hebrews written script or the E-E-O-U-S script, and with the original Hebrew characters, and not with the modern Hebrew characters or Jewish alphabet that we see with the Jewish Alephbet or the Jewish Hebrew language of today. Friends, for the past few years, I have set out to reconstruct the E-E-O-U-S E-Hebrews script. And I can now report to you that the Hebrews language is E-English with the E-Hebrews script and with the E-E-O-U-S characters and lettering and numbers. And I am presently working on the script and the E-Hebrews characters. And someday I will hopefully release it. And publish it on my YouTube channel. Friends, the Sovereign of all the heavens and the earth is truly awesome and we ought to acknowledge the Sovereign of heaven whom is the Almighty and whom is omniscient and omnipotent and whom is universally overawed. 
and whose name is holy and sacred and whom is worshipped and is adore in all the heavens and the earth, and by the holy angels of Elohim, and in all the heavens and the earth. Hallel. Eluya. Amen. Amen. The end. To be continued.